A budget shortfall at one local university will cost more than 100 faculty and staff members their jobs. The decision to cut back on some programs is sparking outrage and demonstrations among students who will see a dramatic change to their programs next fall. Royce Jones took their concerns straight to university leaders and shares why they say these changes will save the university from financial collapse. Concerned students are protesting for the third time this week. IUP is experiencing a major budget crisis and is now undergoing what university leaders describe as an academic restructuring, merging its fine arts and humanities schools, slashing arts programs, prompting massive cuts to faculty and staff. If we don't do something now, we won't have an IUP for the future to change lives. Representatives from IUP say the university is experiencing a steep decline in enrollment, plunging 33% over the past seven years. At our very highest, we were at 15 and, and over 15,000. Now we're just over 10,000. The pandemic packing an even heavier punch, knocking out opportunities for recruiting. People want to come in person. Decreased enrollment dropping the university, which relies heavily on tuition revenue, into a projected $16 million budget hole this year alone. What we cannot do is continue to, to pass on our budget challenges to our students and families. We will not. That, that's, the, that's a line in the sand that we have made. Instead, the university now cutting many of its arts programs and slashing jobs. More than 100 faculty members and 80 staffers will be let go. They will learn their fate tomorrow by letter. They're trimming the fat with uh, custodians. They're trimming the fat with um, administrative assistants. Where is the cuts to management? President of the IUP Teachers Union, Erica Frenzel, fearful for the future of her friends and colleagues. I'll say IUP is to be my second home. I'm not so sure it is anymore. These changes begin next fall. The Teachers Union will continue negotiations with the university for another alternative. I'm Royce Jones, KDKA News.